This is where beauty products come to die. Happy Sunday, and it is a sunny one. High of 26, add 10 degrees to it, and I'd be so happy. I like it hot and humid. I know my hair might not, but I do. I'm really overdue for a trip to Antigua. I want to go. I don't know when I'm going to get to go. So I don't know where my other one is, but I'll take this one. No, that's not it. That's my blush. Which, what is the deal with NARS? I have four or five because they're my favorite blushes. Blush is my favorite. Actually, I think lip gloss. It used to be eyeliner when my eye wasn't so... But nowadays, it's lip gloss. But when I first, first, first started wearing makeup, blush was my everything. And for some reason, all of my NARS are like this. I didn't drop this one. I actually haven't used this one in over a year. I found it at the bottom of the stash and I said, hey, that's what I want to wear today. Even though I haven't put any foundation on my face, I just wanted to liven up my skin a little bit. So let's get ready to go. I'm gonna be early, which is good. The last two times I went to get my nails done, I was a few minutes late, and you know me, I hate being late. So to be early is to be on time, and to be on time is to be late, right? So we're gonna get going. I'm just going for a fill. And you saw me get these clear tips on, which I love, but we're cutting them short, because this is, this is doing too much. It's just Sunday. <laughs> I was like, there's no real big plans, no Sunday brunch, no boat parties, nothing like that. I haven't been out for Caravana. I retired two years before the pan began. That's a story for another time. Let's see. washroom to be this nice. Maybe I should use this color because I want to redo my own bathroom. Okay, let me just do what I need to do so we can go. Croissant. Probably won't sleep tonight since it's after two and my first meal of the day. My old professors. Not happy with me. What are people lining up for? Can you see? Because I can't. Look, what's going on here? What is it? Cars? Fast and the Furious? Or what? The body wash that I was looking for at Sephora is discontinued, so hopefully they have it here because this is where beauty products come to die. For my Americans, this is like home something? We call it home sense, but you guys call it something else. Okay, this is hair. What is this? Bingo! Although I don't see what I'm looking for here. It doesn't look like they have it. I mean, I haven't bought it in over a year, so I mean, it could just be gone forever. I don't recognize, well, I actually can't see any of the labels, but the bottles don't even look like what I'm looking for. That could be interesting. Okay, okay, no. Time won't waste it, let's go. What we're not gonna do is go back through that chaos. One thing I don't do is mayhem. Not the man calling me, yo Riri, yo Riri. Nothing about me gives Rihanna, I wish. But I'm a different mess. Anyway, this is the other side, which hopefully is not as chaotic. This neighborhood is known as Yorkville, aka Bougie Central. I can't see that far. This is Reina, then we're right. They have really good fries. I know, fries. So there's a dress I've been looking for, and it seems to be sold out here, but I'm gonna check out real quick. 
This is not it, but this is nice. safety pin on you to not find what I was looking for but that's okay because I already used up the gift cards anyway and I'm supposed to be on a budget right now because I'm trying to save up for something that you guys will see shortly well it depends on how long shortly is yes, though I was going to take this bag today isn't it such a moment I bought it during the winter time tag still attached and this is the season to wear it but I would just wasn't feeling it I just wanted to go with something super easy and Kate Spade never disappoints. I love that it comes with the matching card holder and wallet. You know I'm all about that matchy, matchy, matchy life. So we can start off the rest of the week peacefully. That is the mantra. You know, today is honestly a hard day. I've been thinking a lot about my dad not being here anymore. So if you have a father that is still alive, treasure him. Whatever the circumstance is. Because when time passes and you can't repair it, you have to live with it. So that's where I'm at. That's what's real. Moving on to something else. I feel rich, rich when it comes to my bark barn run. This is one of my favorite trail mix. It's called Yum Yum Yum, literally. This one is called Harvest. This is coarse salt to go into my salt crack a lacquer. I don't know what it's called. This is supposed to be unbleached bread flour, almond flour, cake flour. That is the haul, because I know I haven't done a grocery haul for you guys in a minute, and that's probably all you're gonna get, because by the time Tuesday, Wednesday comes, I don't know if I'll be vlogging by then to show you what I got from the grocery store, because I'm just gonna be tired from work. And you guys don't need that. You don't need tired, A, eh? okay? Let's get to editing. Morning guys, did a gym sesh, worked up an appetite, that's when you know you did it right. And now I've done my laundry. The best part about doing laundry is the smell. The second best is not having to do it for another two weeks. Don't know what I'm gonna do in two weeks though, because all I heard was as this ripped, and I was like, oh really? I'm gonna have to find where I can order a new one of these. This was actually given to me a long, long time ago. I don't remember how old I was, it might be 14 or 15, but my dad packed it full of Christmas presents. It is a laundry bag, so I'm using it as I'm supposed to, but figure one. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it as it is, because you know what's gonna happen. I gotta log in in 10 minutes, start my day, and then the day's gonna get ahead of me and I'm gonna see this mess. I don't know about you guys, but I can't thrive in chaos. So seeing a catastrophe, I wasn't supposed to put these in the dryer. Hopefully they still fit me. We'll see. Oh yeah, as I was saying, today's gonna be a busy day. Hence the outfit, meeting on the top, chill on the bottom. If you work from home, you know how that goes. But anyway, I'll probably check in with you guys at the end of the day, because I ain't got nothing to say, and I definitely don't have anything to show, so. Checking with you guys, probably when I'm gonna do my pot. Hey, I lied, I forgot this came in when I went to go get stuff from the dryer. Da 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 da! Who else puts a bag in a box? Only a Ritzia. But a different size, and still no receipt inside. What's up with these people? But I'm gonna wear these to work tomorrow. Hopefully they fit. Watch, these ones are too tight, then what am I gonna do? They feel like. Let me just try them on real quick. I still got 10 minutes. They fit right. The other ones were falling off of me. These fit perfectly. I mean, yeah, there's no room for lunch. <laughs> I like the darts. It makes it seem so professional. I wish they had this color and a matching blazer. I still don't have a suit set. What do you guys think? I love the crepe material. It's so summery. I can't. If you told me 10 years ago this would be my life, do you see what time it is? One, basically. I still got a steam. Not done work. 
I have to take a break because I have to upload, well, I have to record, edit, and upload my pods. And I knew I was well tired when I was not making sense in the pod description. But at least that'll be up and stuck at 8 a.m. I have to be in the office tomorrow, which means I have to wake up extra early. I gotta steam. I mean, usually steaming is super relaxing. I don't know why I love it so much. I'd rather be catching some Z's right now though. Hooks? What is it about reaching up? It feels like a real arm workout for nothing. I think it's shrunk. I don't remember it being this short. So I might have to steam this too, but that's not for tonight. I wanted to have the vlogs up, but honestly, I don't think that'll be up until maybe Thursday if we're lucky. Depends how much work I have to do after work tomorrow. I don't want to waste time pressing my clothes. So I like to have all of my clothes in my closet already steamed. I mean, sometimes the material, it might need a one-two pass again from being pressed up in my wardrobe, but more often than not, this, Doing them all at once saves me so much time day to day. And silks it is a dream to steam. Thing here. Oh, are you serious? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. The squeaky riggedy ish never gets old. I'm home, guys. I skipped the day, sorry. I actually was gonna check in with you Tuesday night, but then I was so exhausted I worked until midnight. So that didn't happen. I probably should have brought you guys with. I even looked at the camera yesterday before I left for work and I'm like, nah, nothing's gonna happen. Last minute my friend's like, hey, I'm in your area, do you wanna go out for lunch? And I'm like, yes, an excuse to not stare at the screen. Cause I mean, usually on Tuesdays, what I do for my lunch break is I'll go for a walk for like 45 minutes and then come back just so I'm not sitting at my desk all day. Anyway, so we ended up eating at a patio and it was so nice. Felt like I was getting my life back. A good conversation with a good friend. Good pizza too. We got a mushroom pizza with hot honey on it. I would have never thought of that before, but it was a good combo. So if you like mushrooms the way I do, Try it on, let me know. I would put this on and do cardio and abs and maybe a little bit of hips to strengthen it. <laughs> I won't bring you guys down because usually around this time, after work time is when it's busy and I don't want to be up in people's business while they're trying to get fit. So I'll check in with you when I come back up. If it's stuck, aka if I do anything other than, if you know, you know. You no, know, there's so much I want to tell you guys. But I've realized over the last couple months, it's better to stay mum. But I do share with the Patreon fam. So if you're already part of the fam, you already know what's going on. But a lot of times I start to say something in the vlog, I might even say it and then I edit it out because I'm just like, mm, that's too much for everybody to hear, to know, for me to say. My phone is not working. First of all, the camera is as blurry as my vision. Technically my vision is not blurry, the equivalent of someone who can see perfectly, just imagine using your peripheral. Whatever you see from the side of your eyes, how I see everything. So it's not that it's blurred, it's just not defined, if that makes sense. Because someone's gonna say, Addy, same thing. It's not the same thing, trust me. I've had blurred vision, or when you go swimming and everything looks blurry underwater, it's not like that. But anyway, you know me, I can chit chat about anything under the sun, but the longer I'm up here, the longer I'm gonna be down there. And you already know I hate working out. I don't know if I ever admitted that to you guys, but I absolutely hate the gym. I hate everything about it. I hate sweating, I hate cardio, but I do it because I wanna be healthy. So that's what we gonna do. Pop in a good pod, get my heart rate up, get these abs back on track, cause I might go to the pool. Maybe not this weekend, cause I actually have some fun things to show you, which is good. Cause I didn't expect this vlog to be this, We'll say boring, but we'll say basic. I should have brought you guys around yesterday. I even went to a team social, although I wouldn't have vlogged that because the work and YouTube not trying to mixy mixy that, you know? Cook, now that I think about it, I have not, I haven't cooked in two days. <laughs> too busy. Life is a lifing, and I don't mean it in a way. It's okay though. We gonna get through it. We always do. The first thing we gotta do is get moving. Because <laughs> once I come up, I gotta edit. 
That's the only thing about working long hours is it cuts into the things outside work that I need to do for my personal life, like cook a meal or edit my video or create content or live a life, you know? It's okay. Everything is temporary and honestly, as long as I'm doing the best I can do, if you're legally blind, you know things take a longer time. So it's just the adjustment of it all. But yeah, catch you guys later. But I always feel better when I'm done. And I had a good conversation with a neighbor who I haven't seen in almost a year. So we we're just catching up on some things. You can only do so much because, you know, the elevator rides are quick. Gotta get my elevator pitch. But honestly, Nine times out of 10, it puts me in a better mood. I hate to go to the gym. I force myself to go, which is why I prefer to go in the mornings. Obviously, I'm not waking up early to go before my shift when I'm going in office, but work from home days, I always go before. Once I am done, it really gives me life. I don't know if it's just a me thing, but I like to clean before I hop in the shower. So when I come out, everything's pristine, even if it is a small place. And then when I come out, all I gotta do is edit, which I'm actually looking forward to. I can't wait to see the things that I couldn't see. I'll be able to zoom in and see them while editing. It's like, I'll be on the trip twice. I hope that you guys like it when It's Thursday. And I heard a ratatata, so another one. I'm gonna show you real quick today's jam packed. I wanna get outside for a little bit for my lunch break, so let's see. I got a dress that I hope I can get a lot of wear out of. It's already end of June in my mind. Once you hit, oh yeah, happy first day of summer. I just realized that. It is June 22nd, the first official day of summer. Ooh, this is really, really thin, like see-through thin. I don't know about that. I was hoping that I could wear this on days that I'm in the office and maybe I want to go out with a friend afterwards. But if it's as see-through as it looks to be, this might not be for me. <laughs> I don't want to look half naked in the office, but I will try it on later. I don't want to waste my lunch break putting it on yet, but I will show you guys before end of day. This is my breakfast, first meal of the day. I mean, I had a muffin earlier today. Lunch break, where, who, what? Went to the grocery store and never cooked anything so quick. I looked at everything in my fridge. Fish is still thawing. I said, this is going to be the quickest thing. When I was in Farm Boy, I was like, mm, beef or cheese? I tried cheese already, it's okay, but the beef? It's not, it's not really giving much. They should have seasoned the beef before they made the tortellini. Hoping there's gonna be bursts of flavor. That's okay, at least I tried it now I know. Mm -mm, stick to cheese or try a different brand altogether. Farm boy is usually really good, but hey, this is the first thing that I'm kind of like, mm, leave that in the store. Speaking of the store, once I've sat down and eaten this, I'm gonna try on that dress that I showed you earlier. And if it doesn't fit, or if it's as see-through as I think it is, then I'll bring you guys to the store and return it. Hoping that this wouldn't be see-through. What it is. It's light and airy. I like the fabric, although it feels really, really thin, probably why it's translucent. But this would be perfect for a hot day in August when you just want to let the vents flow, you know? But not so much for the office though. I was thinking about getting a darker color. They have a olive -y green and a brown, if I throw them up on the screen. But then again, those aren't really summer colors. And the whole point of getting this spring summer dress, I mean, it's officially summer today, hey. I might just sleep on this one before I send it back. I don't know. It's just a bit of time. I wish I had an Antiguan accent. I'm embarrassed to show you the situation over here with this fish, but I'll show you. Let me show you actually. Evening love. Yes, that is a little the... <laughs> I can't speak right now. Try again. Um, Cause I think it's gonna be a good time. Ooh, that kick though. Gives me something. Cause otherwise I'm like, what? You know, usually when I eat white fish, it's breaded, which I know is not healthy, but something about halibut, something about fish and chips. Stirs on disasters. Okay, so boom, I'm 
behind. What's new? Happy Friday! Okay, so I'm supposed to have left half an hour ago, but I was working up until two seconds ago, so that was impossible. But at least we're done, and now we're gonna run. I need to bring my umbrella. I don't know how I'm gonna keep my hair from frizzing up because it's apparently gonna rain and thunder. But we're going to a concert tonight. Don't know what this music is. It's David's idea. You'll see in a bit. But quick, here's my outfit. I'm just gonna throw on some kicks, super casual. It's not that kind of thing. Where are my souliers? The vans my brother got me. Hope to God they don't get dirty. Perfume, earrings, I should probably wear a necklace. And I still haven't posted the vlog. <laughs> Not only that, time has just flown. Like, how is it Friday again? I, I swear, this year? Before you know it, we're gonna be saying Happy New Year! Why is this tangled though? I ain't got time for this. I was listening to a YouTube video earlier that was saying, you know, when I be or I ain't, it's not hood colloquialism, if that's how you call it. It's actually from England back in the day. And I was like, hey, they brought it when they were colonizing the slaves and then the slaves kept it, which is great. It shows you what I'm listening to. No, I want Cinnabon. I mean, tickets were $100. It's more than I mean, that. Way more than that. They should have put them at $40. Tickets would have $40? Been $40? In no, Toronto? <laughs> I already know it's past my bedtime. But the rain on my hair? Where is he going? This is where you want to sit? Waste money. There's nothing on their video. It's good. Yeah, sweet. Time, I'll make the oxtail for you. to see the festivities around where he works. So that was cool. We had some jerk chicken, jerk pork and, pork and ox tail. I'm still full. It is, what time is it? Let's just see. Ooh wee, it's time to go. It's 9.48 and I do not want to be late because we're going to the AGO today. So every month, I'm acting like I knew this before last weekend. I just happened to look on the AGO because I wanted to go to an art event, but they didn't have that this weekend. Instead, they had yoga <laughs> in the AGO. And for those of you who don't know, the AGO stands for the Art Gallery of Ontario. So yes, I'm going to an art gallery to get my yoga on. Let's get it. Hopefully I can bring you guys in. I want you to see the aesthetic because the pictures online is going to be a good time. All right, so I probably would be wise Umbrella, Ella, A, A, A. What a rainy weekend. If I had known, I would have left my hair curly, but it's too late. Umbrella for some sunglasses, but it's not that kind of day, so I'll pop my AirPods in. Pray to God that the TTC is not trifling today. I was 40 minutes late because the subway had no electricity for half an hour. I was already late because I finished working, but I was late on top of being late and then coming back home the Subway went out of service and then some girl was screaming that I was back in service The city 
There's things I love and there's things I don't, and that's one of them. Attention passengers, this is the 501 Street Street Road. We'll be turning southbound to the mall, west onto Queen, Torontosville. If you need to continue west along that last, please exit your left hand lane. Please stay on the left hand lane for the next 505 Street Park. The next stop will be the last stop along the Oh, the trifling TTC did not let me down today. I actually have enough time to go to a cafe. Maybe I'll take you guys back to one that I brought you to last year. So if you know, you know. If you don't, you can't say I didn't put you on this one. I mean, I just signed up literally like, I don't know. I've been to that once, but I think they're not really looking at our so I'm like, look at this. was so amazing. If I didn't have coffee before, it would have put me right to sleep and the music. I think I'm going to try to do practices with classic or because it's such a fun It's so beautiful here, and I didn't even realize that when you buy the ticket for yoga, you're allowed to roam around. So that's what we're about to do because I haven't been here. I want to say in five years, maybe even longer. Last time I came here was for Yayo Kasuma. Why do I feel like I'm saying her name wrong? Anyways, let's go. See this one, this is like a, on the beach, women artists paint. Everything was posed. It's not like she said, oh, this is pretty, and she would paint it like other from what women did back then, where they just painted for fun. They just said, oh, really nice. So she had intention. Yeah. A few years ago, they used to wear this. Why did when she painted 1915, they weren't wearing these dresses? Oh. So this just sort of symbolizes what society thinks that women should be doing, not moving, just standing. It has those little girls playing on the bed, on the beach, and then that woman thinking. Oh, I see the whereas, difference. Whereas McNichol has more people. McNichol, again. That's what that light. is. See, it's like the light coming in through the window. Like, but they actually yeah. do remove the light and put it in and put like, steps on the carpet to show the light. Look at oh. them. They're not even really pretty or, or anything. <laughs> like, they're just uh, regular. I, 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 but they're showing all the things. And she's like needle pointing. So, and still doing something. Doing something, yeah. And then that one, a Victorian dress. Yeah, once again, different size. These are the two that they have on their brochure McNichol and Cassette. Yes. Okay. These are the two. But it's still delicate. Fruit market. I don't remember seeing this one. Yeah, it's kind of picked up. It's interesting. Life in motion, yet still at the same time. It's so beautiful. His shoulders are curled forward. Her mouth has fallen slightly open as she focuses on a single This is what I really wanted to see. Okay, I'm sure you're guessing that being legally blind in an art gallery could be slightly triggering. And it is, but it also fills me with gratitude. I'm steeping in the sight that I still have and I'm trying to appreciate what I'm able to see. 
as I peruse through these rooms. I have to figure out what these are. All the details. One of the best things about being a blogger is it's like I get to live life twice and actually see it the second time around. When I'm editing, I'll be zooming in so I can actually see the designs and details of everything. Almost as if I get to come to the museum twice. There's a lot of music. That was so much fun. I didn't expect that the $30 would get me a yoga class and an access to the AGO. So I think it was well worth it. I was there from 11 until 4, which is crazy. First of all, if I knew, I would have had breakfast, possibly even brought lunch. And then everything I passed, I'm like, mm, I don't want that. I'm just going to eat when I get home. But I think because I haven't eaten in so long, I'm a little delirious. <laughs> it's basically like fasting unintentionally. So I'm going to make a green juice, not smoothie, because I'm going to strain it. You guys have seen me do it before, so I'm not going to show you. I peeked and it looks like there's still a few seats by the pool. But with the new building there, it's shaded. So I want my melanin to melanin. I was hoping to get it popping today, but that's okay. Maybe it's a sign that I should really focus and edit. Anyway, like I was saying, but I don't know if you could hear me because I was whispering a lot of the times. I don't want to be like a loud vlogger in a quiet space. This lemon juice smells weird, but I mean, also it's been there since yesterday. <laughs> this is what happens when I tell myself I can do a million and one things and it turns out that I just can't. So yeah, it's so strange being in a visual place it makes it so real how much vision I've lost. I just wanted to be as grateful and as present as possible and be like, okay, so this is how much I can see. I'm gonna be just present, positive, and just see what I can see, and that's just it. I also don't know how I managed to get dirty here. I know I spilled the coffee here when I was chugging it. I was thinking before I went, maybe I should get coffee before class. Maybe I should on the way back. And then I thought, nah, I'm tired, I want it now. Which like I told you guys earlier, I'm happy that I did because otherwise a Shavasana would have been a slumber, catching some serious Z's. But then, figure one. And there was this guy that was staring at me, he's like an older man, so it wasn't like in a creepy kind of way, it was more inquisitive. But then I was just like, sir, stare at the artwork. And then I realized halfway through, I wasn't supposed to have my yoga mat on me. Apparently I was supposed to coat check it after the class and then come back, but it wasn't until the last half an hour of my five hours of being there. Thanks, Fridge, for keeping everything cold. You see, I'm trying to flip it and be positive now. So anyways, as I was not saying, because I'm not really saying much right now, again, I need to eat something. You know what? Let me just, I think I got one muffin left. I met a girl, we both came in at the same time, we were waiting for the elevator and it never came, so we went up the stairs. Her name is Melanie, she's the one you might have overheard. Depending on how I edit the shots before this, if you hear music, then you won't hear her voice, but she was explaining everything to me because I shared with her I'm visually impaired. I thought that was so kind of her. And she's like, I can't show you everything because my husband's waiting for me, but then she ended up showing me everything and I felt so thankful for that. And then as you saw, hopefully my phone was loud enough and the cam picked it up, but there were the QR code she showed me to scan and it would also explain what the artwork was, which I thought was amazing. And both of the people in that first exhibit that I showed you had a disability. I don't know if they were both deaf, but I know one of them was. So that's why a lot of the artwork was immersed in other senses, whether it be like the color, the movement, just the feel, because you know when you lose one sense, they say the other's heightened, and I was super against that for years and years and years, but the way I can smell people, sometimes I'm like, ooh, I wanna know what that perfume is, because you know I'm a fragrance fiend, and other times I'm like, you couldn't have showered today? Mm. Speaking of shower, I'm gonna hand wash this to see if it comes off, shower, because I don't think at this point I'm going to the pool, let's just, let's be real. I don't know what I'm gonna get into, but we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending, what, the last two weeks with me. How rude of my camera, the battery died. Well, I'm glad it lasted me the entire day, because hey, anyway, you saw.
or you didn't see that I made the juice. We're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another, well, two weeks with me as I was trying to say before the camera sh sh shut down. I showered. I'm actually going to go to the pool for a little bit and then shower again, make it make sense. But until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed, love and later.